I just wanted to show you what I've been working on this afternoon. I took the uh, magnetic strips that I ordered a long time ago, which were over there above everything else and far away from uh, me so that I'd have to stretch over a bunch of crap and knock things over to get to them. And if I did any kind of pounding or anything like that, the tools would fall off the magnetic uh, strips that were there. But now I've got them right here handy uh, at my hands. And this might be a good idea for some of you sculptors out there. If you get a metal ste uh, steel sheet like I did on uh, Amazon, you can order a couple of these uh, magnetic strips off the internet, off Amazon probably. And uh, you can put your steel tipped tools or steel tools on your strip and they're right there handy for you and uh, always out, out of the way so you've got a little more room on your table I don't have a lot right now but it's a lot more than I had before all right I'm gonna try to get as much done today on her I'm gonna start working on her top Time to play with some clay. I'm going to go through this book uh, by Thomas E. Mails. It's uh, called Mystic Warriors of the Plains. Well worth ordering offline uh, it has uh, all kinds of uh, information on the Plains Indians uh, different tribes the way they would make their saddles uh, the leggings everything that you would want to know and right now I want to look up dresses and uh, it even shows how they would wear a robe and what message wearing the robe meant. It's, it's a great book. Just a fantastic book. I rolled this clay through uh, my pasta machine to get the uh, effect of the hanging leather.
Now you see why I did the anatomy under the dress. It helps when I do the uh, upper part of the dress to get it right. Now I've got to contact my uh, friend Michael Badhan who arranged the uh, models for that shoot that I got that picture of of that young crow woman dressed in a Cheyenne dress. I gotta find out how that dress was constructed and uh, I'll do that tonight. I'm not gonna go much further than I am right now until I get that settled because I really don't know. You don't see her with her arms outstretched and so I don't know how those sleeves are uh, constructed. But I'm happy with how this is coming out now
All right, the final thing I'm going to do today is use Ronsonol to uh, soften the clay and smooth out those areas that need to be smoothed out. You can see how it kind of melts the clay a little bit. Wish I knew why. It's one of those mysteries. All I know is it does. All right, everybody. See you next time. Give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.